LLC. Welcome to the New York Transport Association. I'm Jason McKenzie, and I'm running this shop. Let's get to your personal details. Okay, what's your name? That should do it for now. Well now, tell me, do you have any experience in driving a train or none at all? Okay then, we'll get you up to speed. Mrs. Taylor, go and tell Mr. Flint to come around. That's our shift leader. He'll sort you out. That's it for me, I believe. I hope you'll like it here. If you ever have any questions, well, you know where to find me. That's Mr. Flint, our shift leader. Here's the new guy. Go show him around. Okay, will do. By the way, I'm Steven. Right, just next to the boss's office, you'll find our Pearl, Lindsay. Just across, you'll find the locker rooms. That's all for now. You can get changed there before your shift starts. If you need me, I'll be next to the boss's office. And if you had too much coffee and in need of the gents, there you are. Gents usually use the one on the right, and ladies the one to the left. Follow me to the canteen. Here's our canteen where you can get everything you need. Hot steam and coffee, snacks, or a full lunch. Some days you can even enjoy the food. <laughs> now we'll get to the heart of it all. Just follow me. Here's our maintenance shop. That's where the trains get checked and repaired for their next operation. If you have any technical questions to ask, you can always check on our shop floor supervisor. You'll normally find him here. That's it. I've shown you all the most important places. This is where our tour ends. Okay, let's check out how to operate the train. Come on, we'll take the train on the right. Excellent. Now, pull down the seat and sit down. Yeah, well done. Now, there's quite a few camera views. I suggest looking up the key commands in the manual. The time monitor, route monitor, and the station monitor can also be called up via key commands. First, we should turn on some lights so that we can see. Continue via the switch panel behind you. Press the equivalent key to change the view. Now switch on the light in the cab. And then switch on the headlights. Perfect. Now we'll deal with the passenger compartment. Switch on the lights first. And as we don't want our passengers to suffocate, you'll need to switch on the air conditioning in the compartment. Turn back to the front to see the control panel. To operate the train, you will need to insert the reversal lever. Now attach the brake lever. The order of operation doesn't really matter, you can do as you want. Perfect! We'll now take a look at the control panel in the cab. Change the control panel view. Unlock the control panel. 
OK, switch on the main fan. In addition, you can also change from headlight to traveling light, but note that this is only allowed outside of stations. When approaching a station, switch back to normal headlights to avoid accidents. Let's take a look at the door controls. To operate it, you need to unlock the control panel first. You'll need a key for this. Very good. And don't forget, if you change cabins, you'll need to take the key with you. Let's look at the door controls now. You can see two levers. The left lever is for the left side in driving direction. The right one for the right side in driving direction. Take care that you'll only open the doors which are on the platform side. Right. In our case, the doors are already open. We want to close them now. You can check by looking out of the window. Open it. OK, now look out the window. Come back in again. Set the lever to the close position. As we don't want to catch a cold, we will close the window again. Now we'll concentrate on what's happening in front of us. Right, let's get this baby running. Push the reverser into the position forward. Now push down the dead man switch. You're nearly there. All you need is to loosen the brake. I'm not going to say that you're a natural talent, but you're doing pretty good for a beginner.
Ah, perfect timing. Nearly all duty plans are still open. Let me know which shift is the most interesting for you.